Okay, this is part two. So you want to figure out who's on your Wi-Fi network, if you're being hacked, who's coming on and off, how to identify them and what to do about it and how to block them. So now that you've downloaded this program here, Wireless Network Watcher, very simple and easy uh, and installed it, it's going to come up and scan and, and you're going to immediately see your IP address, the MAC address identifier, and information about each device on your network. Now, it'll show you your router, which over here under device info, it will call it your router and it will call it your computer. That's the program's designation for that. Now, first thing I like to do is identify each item with my own user text. So, for, first thing I recommend you do on the options here is uh, go to options and uncheck automatically copy device name to user text. You uncheck that, otherwise it takes whatever is in this device name column, which may not be anything or it may be gobbledygook, it's going to copy it into here and it's not going to help you know what that is. So figure out which each of these items are. You should be able to if it's on your network already. Um, and and uh, go ahead and right click and, uh, on each of the devices and properties and then change the user text field here and, it, and change it to whatever you want. I call it my phone, you know, these. So I know now it's mine and it'll save these settings so each time these connect or unconnect you'll very quickly be able to know that you named it and this is a safe device. Now next thing I'm going to do is go through the default options that I recommend after going through all these settings. It can be a little complicated. Uh, first thing is I like to put the icon on the tray, the icon for this program on the tray. So it will be down here uh, this little eyeball looking thing. And therefore it keeps running uh, while your computer's running and it monitors what's going on. Start as hidden, keep that checked. Uh, tray balloon on new device, so anytime a new device comes on it's going to pop up a little notification down here which is a visual. There will also be audio, I'll tell you about that. Um, I'll get back to background scan, keep that there, beep on new device, um, keep that there. Scan on program start, keep that there. Um, let's see. <clears throat> Inactive devices. Uh, check that. So therefore, when a device connects to your network and at any time disconnects, it will preserve that information there. It'll show as a little red X over here that they're not connected, but it'll preserve that there so you can go back and see when and how many times they connected and the identifying uh, markers of that device, uh, which we can take advantage of later. <clears throat> okay, so those are your uh, your basic default options. So now what we want to do is go into the advanced options. Okay, so let's go here. Now, uh, first thing I like to have is a background scan going. So you'll see down here, remember we, we checked that background scan on the uh, default options. Uh, I set it for uh, 300 seconds every five minutes. It goes through the scan takes about 15 seconds. It goes through and scans the uh, the IP addresses on the router and makes a uh, record of what's connected and refreshes that. So you can set that for whatever you want. You can play around with it, but I I set it for 300 seconds. Um, number two is there's uh, since we've set that audible alert when a, a device attaches, you can use your own wave file or a sound file for that. Now I noticed the default file is some kind of a just a normal ding that sounds like a system noise and to me it doesn't sound uh, like anything I would think is unusual. I think it was just something weird happening in the background so my suggestion is like I did go find an, uh, a very noticeable wave file that's different from anything the system uses and therefore you will know definitively that that is the noise associated with somebody getting on your network. And just uh, browse here and go to the you know whatever the routing is for that file and and check that to use this, that file. Uh, number three is go down here <clears throat> to this button and, and make sure it's not checked. And I'm going to explain why. We do want to get an audible uh, whenever in uh, let's call it an unknown device is attached, but we don't want, for instance, you know my phone or your own phones to, to keep beeping when it comes on and off the network. It's going to drive you crazy and you won't be able to distinguish that from hey this is an unknown device. So I'll show you how we're going to solve that problem there. Okay, so cancel out of that. Now what you want to do is go into each, once you've got each of these devices on your network identified as friendly, 
and you've named them, go ahead and, and highlight one at a time, and then you want to go into options, device options for each individual device. You like to do this one time. Now, what I do is when the device is connected, I change that to don't beep because now that they're connected, I've identified them. I don't need to know when they're jumping on and off the network unless you want to sit there and monitor that, but I don't want to be bothered with that. So it basically silences that once you've identified these individual devices. Uh, same thing you can do that with the tray balloon settings if you like. If you want to have a beep, then you can set a, a different file uh, sound for each device. You can, you can do things like that if you want. But I prefer to just, once I've identified it, let it, let it go and just focus on the, the new unidentified devices. All right, so now that you've done that, you've basically got all the, the ability to monitor every device. If somebody comes on and off your device, like if you live in an apartment complex and somebody hacks into your network for some reason, it's going to keep a record, breadcrumbs, of who that is and what device that was and when, how many times, etc. cetera. Uh, and it's going to give you an audio and a visual alert. So even if you're sitting at your computer and you, you don't hear it, you'll at least be able to go back here and, and see the record of it. But now it's also important that when you uh, close this, go ahead and X this. It'll close that down to the tray. It'll still run while the computer is running. And that's important. You, you know, when you start up your computer, what you want to make sure that this program is running in the background and here at the tray so it's constantly monitoring what's going on. So now that you've got that, you're all set, and for most people, that could be it. But in the next video, I'm going to show you, if you get somebody on there, what to do about it. And we can take that, that identifying information from the device, and we can go in through the router, and we can block them and keep them off your network. And again, if somebody's hacking in from, could be, you know, work or a neighbor or, a, you know, who knows what, this is how you're going to achieve that. So. Click on part three if you're interested in that. And uh, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Any comments or tips you got, please share uh, below. Thanks a lot.